quite a bit. Jax is more similar to Chindamir than anything. I think Aurelia beats Wukong. Um, not always, obviously. It can go either way. He wins after... He wins after, like, the first item, unless you've been beating him before. He also wins from level 1 to 3. But if you beat him, like, the level... Level 4, level 5. You're probably good to go for the rest of the game. The only thing annoying about him is his ulti. Like when when he gets that it's it's a little hard to um finish him off. How do you beat Wukong? Well, just watch. And before I lose, but... If you guys believe in me enough, I'll win. He does have Ignite, so I gotta be careful. He got that little proc on me. That's that's why he did so much damage there. I'm just gonna go back because he has ignites, so there's no risk in me doing this. That's how you beat ignite ignite users. Now what is he gonna do? He's got like no HP. If he goes back, it means I can freeze the lane. Then he's gonna lose a lot of EXP by the time he gets back. Oops. Yeah, of course it had to target that one. Alright, he's back. See, I'm level 3 and I'm halfway to level 4 already, and he's still level 2. I'm gonna let him push it in because I wanted to reset. And try to fight him with the level advantage. Or just keep it frozen. You can do this against any Ignite user, it has nothing to do with the champion that he's playing. Oops. Well now I have to wait. Because I missed my Q. I'm really good. Ah, fuck. Just 
And now I can go back and get a pickaxe and walk back to lane. Because by the time he pushes it out, I'll already be back in my turret. And I also I will still have the EXP advantage that I talked about earlier. And I might be able to hit level 6 first. And if I hit level 6 first, I can all in him. And probably win. Oh no, wait for my boots. So I can get back to lane a little quicker. I know if I walked, I might have gone like all the way to here or something, but over time my boots will probably get me there a little faster. Yeah, the guide is okay for the most part. The only thing I might need to change a little bit is... Um, one of the items. Maybe to include Sunfire or something. Lane's gonna heart shove into me, so I'll just let him do that. He's gonna hit level 6, but, you know, that's okay. When the lane's hard shoving into you, you don't really want to fight your opponent because it means they're probably going to level up and obviously there's also a pretty big creep wave. So I'd rather not. Fifty one to thirty CS. Haven't really done anything complex. Everything I've done is just really basic stuff. Not that I CS better than him. It's just my base timings and the fact that he has ignite really lets me uh, abuse him. I can probably dive him now. Unless he hits level 6. I feel like he would shit on me if I try to dive him. If that happens. Do I want to go for this? Probably not. Even if I have a large EXP lead. I'm just going to try and push it in. Main reason is because of the Ignite. I will not fall. What? He beat me? Oh man. I had a level on him too, and he just shit on me. Oh fuck, I, s I fucked that up a little bit. Swatidus, thank you for sub subbing, really appreciate that. Even though I just died 1v1. Probably not a good time, but it's okay. But yeah, I had like a level and an item advantage. Eh. It's too bad. I underestimated the Ignite. What I did wrong there was not opening up first. I think you have to open up first to win. That's like the only thing that I did wrong. Holy crap. 
grab that creep block though. Actually, I think I can stay. It's gonna shove back into me. I really need to get my Gensus. Before I base. Now the only problem with this gank is that I don't have my ulti and he didn't use anything. It's like the only problem and we don't have a pink roid so I, I just have to wait. Yeah, if I used my E on the Rengar instead of the minion I think I would have been. That would have probably worked out. Yeah, oh, whatever. With precision. Justice signed by. Still really ahead of him in minions. I can get him against Zeus. I think I probably should do that right now. I can just teleport back to lane to keep the freeze going. I, will not <laughs> I should have probably bought a pink word. That would have most likely helped a lot. I'm gonna push it in and do that, I think. That's assuming I can actually push it in. Okay, good. With the pink word, I might be able to just full out, just one one shot him. As long as I can see him, it's fairly straightforward. And I can also buy a long sword. Yeah, it's plat 1. I just recently got placed. I'm probably playing against Diamond 3s. I'm currently my promotions. It's not promos, it's placements. He's really afraid of me. I guess he knows how the matchup goes. I have like 40 CS on him, holy fuck. I just have to make sure I don't misplay this, because I can still throw my lead even though I died already. If 
feel like he might be just going for farm. Never mind. Monkey sees, and then monkey doesn't see. Get a sheen in the phage now. There's nothing surprising about what just happened. It's a full damage champion, and also, also I like full rage blade stacks, and I have four. I had 40 CS on him, so that's like a thousand gold. missing come at me come on where you at <laughs> where, where did he even go <laughs> Didn't even die. He's gonna ult. Almost. Wait, what? Okay, that was really bad. I thought I Q-reset it on the minion there. Oops. I legit thought I... Oh my god. I think I used my Sheen proc before I Q'd on top of the minion. Oh my god, that was really bad. Oops. 
I was like wondering why my Q is not going off and then I realized I didn't get the reset on the minion in the first place. That's fucking bad. Oh, are we fighting this? Uh, never mind. Oh my god. I don't think our team is very good at sieging. Up bottom. I still have my teleport, so. Shut down. I, will not fall. I nearly fucked that one up. What item should I get next? Full damage? You guys want full damage? Alright, let's do full damage. Uh, what item? Hmm. Decisions are pretty hard sometimes. Let's go for this. Just for fun. <laughs> Oh, unlucky. Man, I move so slow. Fuck me. I should've just went for, um... Swifties. Oh. Does Azir have Swifties? No, he has like normal boots. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't I be like way faster than him? What the fuck? I couldn't catch that guy. Uh, Wukong is here. Uh, okay. I don't Uh, the runes that I'm running right now are 29% attack speed with scaling armor and scaling magic resist. Nothing complicated, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. What does this thing do, anyway?
15% of the damage taken is dealt as a bleed effect. What does that mean? Do you guys know? Because I got no fucking clue. Good job, Jenna. Did all the work. I wouldn't be able to catch him. It allows you to heal up, and it's like a counter burst item. Alright, makes sense. I, that's not a bad item considering what their team is. We still have to be careful though, that Azir is really farmed. Like, even more than me. Wow. Is she gonna die to that? She might. Nice. Why did it make me loop around? Fuck this shit. Eh. It's still working out, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, I'm gonna get... I think I'm gonna go for Swifties. Well, not two of them. Um, that and that. And we'll be good. I should've probably went for Magic Resist. Azir's like their only threat right now. We could just do burn. Eh, we have a fast one. I stand <laughs> the only thing I don't like about objectives is that they always make a stupid fucking sound when your team gets it. I feel like it ruins a lot of uh, the surprise element. At least that's how I feel. It's kind of lame. It's not like, oh my god, the enemy team got burned, wow. It's like, oh, I heard they got burned. That's cool. So cool. Alright, so we're chasing Rengar. That's cool. I need to heal up.
Might as well. Nice. It's kind of a slow game. Not gonna lie, it's a little boring. GG. That was a bit of an anticlimactic 